and welcome to week 15. This is Ludmilla Adams from Fashion Chalkboard and you're watching one tip of the series 52 weeks of fashion sketching in Adobe Illustrator. This week we're going to do something really quick and it's about brushes and how to reflect them. And it's an easy level that you can test out. And I have an example right here. So you can see here off the shoulder going all the way to the hem is a brush. And when I draw it, I draw the one side and then I reflect it, copy it over to the other side. And let me show you what typically happens. So you can see here, I did this little example. And that is that when you start with a brush and you draw it and you want to have the exact same thing reflected on the other side. And you can see how I marked my bottom edge to be red so that you can see as it reflects it's on this other side on top. So that's not what we need. We need the same edge to be on top. So there's an easy way of doing it and I'll show you right now how to do that. Remember that you can download these files from the free member area and the link is below the video and you will receive the dresses as flat sketches. Then you have three patterns in here and you will get the brush in three colorways. Now, let me show you quickly how you can fix this little problem that happens every now and then. There's one solution that is really quick that we can do. So I drew already a part right here. And when I right click transform, which is control click on a Mac and reflect, usually I just press vertical copy and you can see how my reflected copy is upside down for the scallop edge. All I need to do is select that copy, then go to this button in my brush menu, which is options of selected. You can here make sure your preview is on and just flip it across and that will fix it for you. Now in the past, I used to actually make two copies so I visually could see what I wanted to happen. So you can see here that I have one brush that I was dragging in here to create a pattern brush and it makes my scallop go upside down and here is the opposite. So then let's try that out on these reflective copies. So here, if I click on this brush, you can see how it's upside down and here it's actually really reflected. Or if I um, just wanted to select these both at the same time and then flip them, you can see how that works like that. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have fun with the files. Take them apart. Explore. As always, you can comment if you have any questions if I went too fast. If you take the files apart, you might notice that there is a clipping mask inside of my dress. There is a video that I have explained clipping masks before. If I un or if I release the clipping mask, you can actually see how sometimes brushes don't really want to work with us and not really fit the edge of our garments. So click on the video that will pop up here on the screen and you can watch the episode about clipping masks. All right, thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel, connect with me, Instagram, any of those channels that you'd like to connect with me. Bye-bye.